Hey guys, welcome back. We have seen in our previous videos, like uh, I have seen what our data set says, and also we have scaled out the data as for KNN, we need to have our data set in a much in a similar scale, right? So let's create our first ever KNN classifier model now. So as I've always told you that we don't really need to write the code for it. We have our sklearn library. So from sklearn dot sklearn dot neighbors, I am going to import k nearest uh, k neighbors classifier. Okay, k neighbors classifier. Don't use any other. Don't use the regressor one and the transformer one. As this is a classification model, so I am using k nearest. Uh, k neighbors classifier if you are using a uh, regressor problem then use the regressor one okay so k neighbors classifiers let's import this the next thing is quite similar to what we have done before we will just create an object of this class so creating an object is knn equals to uh, the name of it so it's k neighbors classifier create an object of that class let's check if everything is fine now we are going to see what are the default values that we have inside of it? So the default values are k neighbors is equal to 5. So we will change this to 1 as of the initial phase. Now let's look into all other different default values. Okay. What I'm doing right now is I'm pressing shift plus tab. It gives me the doc string about k nearest neighbor. Okay, this is a doc string. And the metric, the distance function that we are using is Minkowski. What is Minkowski? Min Minkowski is the uh, how it, uh, we get Minkowski. We get by generalizing the equilibrium and the Manhattan distance function. Okay, so let's keep it default to Minkowski itself, and let's create an object of this class. So successfully, we have created an object of this class. The next thing is let's fit our model okay. let's fit our model so knn dot fit we are going to pass out our x train and then y train so cross everyone we have created our first ever knn classification model now the next part is doing the prediction and the evaluation so let's create this section as prediction and evaluation okay create out some new cells and now now is the place where we will do the prediction part just remember that knn is an lazy uh, lazy learner so what i mean by this is whatever we have done before it hasn't done created any assumptions on the data it hasn't done any uh, creating any regression lines or something it hasn't done anything Okay, it has just fitted our data and kept it someplace. Now, when we do the prediction, that is when we pass in new data points, that's the point when we are going to uh, do something with our data set. Okay, so let's pass in our new data points. So I'm going to use the predict function, knn.predict, store it out in a variable predict, knn.predict, and I am going to pass in my x test so let's check pred pred is an array and we are going to evaluate with with our y test okay y test let's call out do the evaluation part evaluation uh, let's bold it out evaluation okay. for evaluation we need from sklearn dot matrix import classification report and confusion matrix everything is fine now let's print confusion matrix and the confusion matrix will be on y test and the pred value let's do the same thing for classification report we have y test and red. Oops, let's delete the extra braces that we have. Hmm. So right now we are getting 
92% accuracy which as of now is a good uh, good answer okay we are getting a good answer if you change the k neighbor to let's say 5 then we might get also a different value okay so we are getting 94 so you can see that uh, changing the value of k gives me very very different values if i change this to 2 it gives me 91 so you never know what's the exact what's the best value for k now we will try out a way that will help us uh, choose and choose the accurate value of k how we will do that we will plot a graph between a range of k values with the error rate that they are giving and the k value with the least error rate is the one that we will be selecting our model and training out for so let's jump into our next video and do the uh, plotting part